Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. Psalm 53, verse 1, the first line. The fool has said in his heart, no God. Now, 180 times in the Bible, you are going to come across the word fool or its associated words. In fact, here is another homework assignment for you, the book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs has a lot to say about the wise and the foolish. In fact, the first nine chapters of the book of Proverbs is all about wisdom. And uh, that's why the book of Proverbs is uh, part of the wisdom literature. So if you read through the first nine chapters, you are going to understand what wisdom is all about. And then throughout the rest of the book, you have a lot of verses that talk about foolishness, who a fool is. Now, if you study the Bible, you're going to come across some very shocking uh, people. Uh, let me introduce uh, three of them to you because they address this whole issue of foolishness. The first is a very beautiful godly wise woman by the name of Abigail and we are told that she was married to a guy called Nabal <laughs> and interestingly his name means fool. How a parent would have given that name to a baby boy beats me. But this man had the name Nabal fool. And there came a point in Abigail's life where David, King David, was going to take revenge on Nabal because Nabal had not uh, provided for him what he requested in spite of the fact that David had cared for Nabal and his uh, cattle protected them. And uh, so uh, this was going to be a destruction of Nabal and uh, the males. It is at this point Abigail comes and meets David. Now I want to read to you 1 Samuel chapter 25 and verse 25. Intriguing words that are spoken by uh, Abigail to David. May my Lord, that's David, Pay no attention to that wicked man, Nabal. Imagine a wife calling her own husband a wicked man. He is just like his name. His name is fool and folly goes with him. So <laughs> we find that a very shocking illustration of Nabal in the Bible. He was named a fool, he lived like a fool, and he died like a fool. Now, the second example I'm going to show you of a fool is uh, King Saul. And uh, at the end of his life, look at what he said. This is uh, Saul's testimony. Surely I have acted like a fool and I have erred greatly. The King James Version says, I have played the fool. Very sad words of a king. And no wonder that eventually he took his own life. He committed suicide. I have played the fool. Now, all of us at some point in our life, yes, we have played the fool. <laughs> At school, we have played the fool. We have had fun and we have done foolish, stupid things. But you can't go through a whole lifetime of playing the fool. 
So we need to transition from being a fool to being a wise person. And we must not end up like King Saul, who admitted that he had played the fool. And unfortunately, he could not make amends for it. So we'll continue looking at these examples of people who, uh, by their own words, said that they were fools. Amen.